Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, if not, welcome to the channel. As always, we're going to take you through some sales, but I had some yesterday that I recorded and didn't have much else going on. Well, so I thought. So I recorded yesterday and you can see those today. £6.29, we are dwindling down now on the LED drivers. Must have about 10 left if that. It's going to be a sad day when they go. £26.99, all in, is this DVD player that I paid £5 for from last Sunday's car boot sale. £14.78 now for this massive bag of test. The lawn bowls. Cheap, but moving them on. £30 all in for this set of four sat navs. What I did was I plugged them in until the first screen came on, and that was all I did. Took pictures of that and sold them as spares, repairs, parts were faulty. Moving them on. £17 is the Google Nest that I picked up from the car boot sale on Sunday. £10 deal. I paid for a lot of stuff. Well, I say a lot. That, some straps, some other bits, some PSP DVDs. I've really hurt my neck. So 17 back, all in on that one. And actually, this has gone to somebody. Ian, massively appreciate you. I think he sent me a note. You can't see the notes once the sale's done, but from memory, I almost forgot. Something along the lines of, finally, you've got something that I want to buy. Appreciate you. So Ian, massively appreciate you, bro. Coming out to you shortly. Hornby liner train that I picked up from the charity shop the other day. I paid £15 for a bundle of stuff. Did a deal with her out the back. And this is sold for £24.99. I'll try and put a screenshot up of that one because you can't see what it is. Part of the same £10 deal from the Google Nest, I sold this writing pad. I let it go for £9.93. Brand new, they're selling for like £20 with all the different attachments. So it's not too bad at all. I'm just in the middle of packing, just packing up the drawing pad. And I've just noticed the name. I could be wrong here, but Birmingham, Simon Woodus. Is that you, Simon? A bit sus. If it is you, Simon, big up. And I miss you. I miss you, man. <laughs> if it's not you, then it's just another Simon Woodus. I'm, I'm sure you're very much worth missing too. Seventeen ninety nine is this manga DVD set. Three of them are actually still sealed. I'm not going to try and pronounce that again. Here I am. Gay Ku in heaven. I think it's like a um, gay lesbian themed thing. Seventeen ninety nine. For £84.99 is this night sight. It's for hunting, I do believe. But there's an issue with the camera. There's an issue with it. Something's going on with it. If it was in fully working condition, I could be looking at three to four hundred pounds for that. But it's not. So I'm gonna sell it cheaper, which is what I've done. I'll let somebody else put the work in, fix it, do what they gotta do, and go from there. Somebody did send me a message previous to me. So I really have hurt my neck. Somebody sent me a message previous to me selling that asking if i would sell just the charger and how much i can't be bothered with any of that and then it sold to somebody else not long after so i'm wondering we'll see can't always be suspicious paid two pounds fifty sold for three pound on vintage this puzzle you might remember i picked it up thinking i'm not even gonna bother looking at that it looks like it's worth at least 12 to 15. it wasn't and for 9.99 which i paid what did i pay for these 650 i think on a massive bundle deal so obviously i was averaging the price down uh 9.99 vintage and the lovely keller reseller has reached out to me and told me that she would like to purchase the avocados had a few people asking for these unfortunately i couldn't get i couldn't just choose all of you i was i would done some research i had them listed on ebay for 38 and 40 and i think i had them on vintage for 28 and 35 or something like that because obviously part of the community, I reached out and said, how does £25 each sound or £45 for the pair? And I will take care of postage. And of course, the offer was accepted. So Keller reseller, massively appreciate you. Very supportive and has a great little page as well. Please go and check them out. These will be on the way to you shortly. Paid £1 and £2, which is really weird. But okay. So that was yesterday. Massively appreciate the purchases. I got a phone call from Tom. He let me know that his work colleague Joshua had some stuff for sale. Now, I don't know much about Funko Pops at all. I asked how much he wanted. He said 50 quid. I asked what was there. He said, I don't know. I said, how many is there then? 32. So I said, I'm blind. I'll buy them for 40 pound. I was buying them blind. Tom and his mate Josh. Tom just gave me a call up and said, Josh has got some bits for sale. And I bought them blind. Just a ton of Funko Pop. I paid, what was it? How many is there? 32. Yeah, some of that. 32, I'll give him 40 quid for the lot, blind, without checking through. I know some of them are pennies, some of them are pounds, but we'll soon find out. Probably go through them all in another video, to be honest. And this is what I got. Some may say that I underpaid. 
and I probably, well, obviously I've underpaid, I'm here to make money, but I don't know what I'm looking at. The geezer FaceTimed me and said, 50 quid for the lot. I said, I can't even see what's there and I need to scan everything through. How about 40 quid blind? And he said, yeah. So Josh, massively appreciate it, mate. I don't know what, at the time of filming, I've got no idea what these are worth at the minute. But you said there was 32, right? What did people have them? 9, 10, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16, 9, 30, 30, yeah, 32. So I paid just over a pound each. I'm not gonna lose money, that's for sure. But my job is obviously to make money. But yeah, not bad. So the keen of you will notice there's a few still lying here on the side. I've actually listed a load. These are the ones that need to be listed still. I've been doing them all on Vinted and um, going from there. And of course, all the t-shirts. Now I was gonna enter them into the Tommy Trades thing, but I decided that just wasn't viable. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I filmed a bit of that charity shop trip. So let's go take a look at that as well. Well, I've heard there's some kind of charity championship going on. So I better go and make an entry. And I, really. I haven't been to a charity shop since. And there's my choice. Not Domino's. It's a Michael's. I don't think I've been to a Chazza since last week, if I'm honest. Hello. Hello. Right, how am I going to win this thing? Hey, that's getting bought anyway. Hello, you're Hello. Right. Hello, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, darling. I'm right. Hiya. Well, these are fancy, aren't they? Well, I'm going to get a basket. I feel, I'm feeling it today. I've got a feeling. I could just do it all in, in there. Uh, I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go for these. Did you forget? Well, that's Tommy. Right, let's go then. Secret weapon. Six fifty for a pink weirdfish. That might be doable. Never seen one that colour before. Yeah, nice size as well. I love that. Come on, where's all the decent football tops? Where are they? Paul Smith tight, two quid. Go on then. Come talk to the ladies. Are you anything I can, I can buy from up there? Go and have a look. Buy, buy where, love. Give me a good t-shirt. Of course you can. Thank you. Well, uh, I'll only let people make you. Don't be daft. <laughs> <laughs> Who's leaving then? Oh, nobody. Good. Nobody the I'd, I'd hate to have to choose somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I could. Yeah, I bet you could, innit? I'm only joking. You know they're like diamonds. Oh, lovely. We're very lucky. I might end, I might end up buying a lot of t-shirts. <laughs> Those are tea towels, did you say? No, t-shirts. Oh, t-shirts. Yeah, these are all These are all right up my street. Sorry, I'll just knock some off. I'll fix it. Yeah. Well, we've got no space for another S. Right. Um, oh, I don't know what's going to go into the pile of love, but uh, something's going to have to go in there. Cool, we're going right back and forward on ourselves, aren't we? But it makes for good content. So here's what we got. Weird fish, pink waffle, 650. It should be 20, 25 back on that. The Gildan Napalm Death. Just look at that graphic. They're not old, but they're nice. 350. I thought, I've never seen this brand before, so I thought I'd have a bash at it. Peaceful Hooligan. It's, it's probably worth about that. I'm going to break even on that. I'm vintage, probably. A nice Santa Cruz, like pearlescent, almost top, medium. Big, massive graphic on the back. Patagonia pocket tea, but it's in a medium. Look at that graphic. I'm so sad. But these were all £3.50. Beastie Boys 2020 intergalactic t-shirt. Another one, 2022, I think this one. Oh, 2003. Older. Huh? Wait, 2003. Is it? Yeah, maybe. Or 2023. I can't read that. I think it's 2003. But yeah, nice older one there. Nice beastie boys. Carhartt, graphic tea. Burghouse, graphic tea. Graphic tea. Ian Brown, stone roses. And another Carhartt. Got a bit of a stain there. Didn't even notice that. I'm sure I can get that out. Beautiful. So as always, the first thing to do today is to open the laptop and have a look and see if we have any sales. We do. We have six that need to go out. Six orders on eBay. Any on Vinted? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, we do. 
got a few there to go. Okay. Well, I think we might as well start with vintage. We'll get those cleared down first. So these are all obviously fee free minus tax because we've still got to pay tax on our profits. So these have gone to Gary, £1.50 for the pair. Now, of course, obviously, Gary's paid postage and stuff on top because it's vintage. But £1.50, happy to do a deal on them, bro. These are from Tom's Tat. For £6.50 is a bunch of Lego Beauty and the Beast stuff. It is incomplete. There's not, it's not fully there at all. £6.50 is still a massive bargain as well, but that's what I'm here for. I'm here to give out the bargains. £6.50. Ah, Shell and Dan. Massively appreciate you both, darlings. Darlings? Yeah, you both, darlings. Hi, me and Dan just had to buy this, and no, it's for the daughter and not the dog. Last time they bought some plush for me and sent me a lovely picture of their dog chewing its pieces. Paid £4 for this, thinking Ada would love it, and then obviously while I was filming the video, I had a realisation, and I was correct. She came in here, I said, do you want this for bed? She went, no! So, uh, it is what it is. But Shell and Dan, they're going to take this. Massively appreciate you both, guys. I'll just wait to you shortly. And we have sold the first of the Funko Pops, Scooby, Scooby Dooby Doo, Scooby Doo Flocked Purple Limited Edition, sold for limited edition, sold for £9.99, that is 25% of my spend price back already, and that's how we like to do it. Alright, I'm in the middle of doing something, and that one has gone to Chloe, so Chloe, massively appreciate you, on his way to you shortly. I was going to throw it at the phone then, but I think that's a bit too risk management. Moving on to moving on to eBay. Ten pound all in is this little Y two K Roxy belt. Some branding. There's, there's, there's little hits everywhere on the clasp, on the holder, on the buckle, all through the back, on the guide thing. What, what do you call that bit? I know that the bits like on the ends of trainers are called aglets or something. Shit. I used to know the answer to that. Anyway, paid £2 from a charity shop, sold for £10 all in on eBay. So there's tons of fees involved in this one. Listed yesterday, sold yesterday, Transformer Mirage thing. Paid £4 for a big bundle of stuff, didn't I, from the car boot sale. You might remember one of the recent ones. I bought it because there was a couple of G1s amongst a load of other stuff. Anyway, the first one sold £24.69. £25.54. The last few times I've had the laptop just there, but I've got no space for it there, so I have to keep turning my head back again. But let's make some space. A Furby with no ear. There we go, we've got some space again. Better. Paid £5, sold for £26.99. All in is this Dior, what do you call it? Nail varnish gel set. I, I was going to keep it, but I chew all my nails off. Mm. Paid a fiver, sold for £26.99. I think I might have said that already. Another one listed yesterday, sold yesterday, is this very Art Deco-y type, made in Japan, perpetual calendar. So it's number three. No, it's different door. Five, six, seven. Basically, it's a calendar. Move the date. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. January to December. Just a nice little piece. Sold for £26.99. Had this sat around for a very long time. Just getting through some of them death boxes that I've got. Another one listed yesterday, sold yesterday, is this photograph album with pictures from what I believe to be like the 1950s. There you go. <laughs> Just family photos, family pictures. There are a lot of market for this kind of stuff, believe it or not. There's stuff all in there. I'm going to go through it all because it's a bit loose there's some loose stuff in there but sold for 19 no i think someone took an offer on that yeah 17.99 all in i don't mind that and for 42 pounds 99 i took an offer on it is this technics remote control now obviously you know a lot of technic stereos a lot of hi-fi stereos a lot of high-end vintage stereos they lose their remote controls after a while and some of them you can't access a couple of functions without them you can get like the spares universals whatever else but people like to have the original ones so when you've got these high fidelity, high collectible audio file type systems, people want the originals. So that's what they got here. I had this listed for, I think, £60. And obviously I took an offer because it owes me pennies. It is missing the back. That was mentioned in the description. And I think I put a picture up of the IR showing. 
Now, if you want to be able to see if your controller is working or not and you don't have the system, if you put your phone into selfie mode and get into a low light area, you don't want too much brightness, although you can still see it in the brightness, it's just a lot easier when it's low light. And you point the remote control directly at the camera and press it, you should be able to see if it's working or not. And actual fact, we're on selfie mode now. So if I've got a couple of batteries there, I'll show you. I think it'll work while it's recording. I've never done it while it's recording before, I don't think. Yeah, I have. There you go, can you see that blink in there? So what you want to do is just go through all the buttons and make sure it's blinking. You see? I'll show you what I mean by it's easier in a lower light to see. See that? A little bit harder when the light's on, but a lot easier. So that is how you test out for remote control. Is it actually admitting the infrared like it's supposed to, which will then of course interact with the system and control it the way it's supposed to. Battery is not included. <clears throat> and that is all the sales from today or yesterday, whatever it is. So because I've had a few things going on, clothing pickups, the Funko pickups, the sales from yesterday, the sales from today, I've got no idea where this video is going to stand. So I'm going to call it here. Potentially might be going down to Northamptonshire tomorrow to go and play some poker for the weekend. The Goliath is on. I am still on the debating side of it whether I'm going to or not. But if I do, you'll find out. Hopefully we can win the bags. I won't be able to. Especially not with that attitude. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. So don't see you before then. Hope you all have a great weekend. Keep being you, keep being awesome, keep being cool and keep ignoring the dickheads. Catch you later. See you in the next one. Bye. Funko heaven.